let's go over non-square UV mapping in this one, and we'll go ahead and delete the cube and create the um, monkey real quick. So, Susan, and we'll play around with this while trying to correct the UVs here. And you might use non-square textures when creating game objects. This is something that potentially can happen. And you can see usually our UV editor is a one by one, right? So it's very easy to work with when it's like this. And I'd actually recommend if you can use a one by one. However, occasionally there's going to be times that you need a non-squared texture. So it'll be something like you click new up here. Um, and with game models in particular, it's going to be powers of two. So like 1024 by 512 or 2048 by 1024 and things like that. So, but you'll end up with a rectangle, a two to one ratio basically. And so if we go ahead and create this texture now, you'll see that that's going to go ahead and stretch out like so. Right, and this is probably not what you want. You didn't want the UVs to be all stretched out. So how do you fix this, right? That's the big question. And it's probably a number of different ways to do this. So if you know any good ones and uh, you want to leave a comment below kind of explaining your process, then go for it. Uh, but when you have vanilla blender, no add-ons, and you're trying to correct for this kind of a UV setup, a lot of times you would think you could just maybe do something. I'll do like seams from islands real quick so we can seems from islands so that way we can just re-unwrap this real quick press u unwrap and you would think that the little correct aspect ratio thing down here works um i've never seen that actually work i mean maybe it does maybe it doesn't but i've never known it to work the way i expect it to anyways so here's the thing let's get rid of the texture for a second and when we unwrap something like this we're going to do kind of a improper unwrap but just for demo purposes you can see the grid in the background if this is like 25 percent from that bottom edge and this is like 25 percent from that top edge then when we do this like so we're cutting the image in half basically right if we stay between those two lines in the center all right so that's the main idea here anyways so if we did something like this we know that it's we know exactly what's going on here. We're using only half of the UV space, right? Okay, so next up, when we switch to that texture, we get this, all right? And that's not what we wanted. So here's the trick with it. We now kind of have a little bit of control on it. We know it's a two by one, so we can scale on X, press SX.5, type that in, SX.5. That will scale it down on X.5 like so, and now we can press S2 to scale up by two, and we've corrected the aspect ratio. So that little tiny process there of just scaling it by half and on X, and then scaling it up by two, we fixed the aspect ratio basically. Very easy to do. You don't need add-ons to do that or nothing. So that's great. Now, here's the thing. Occasionally you wanna do this and you might have everything kind of like the wrong scale or position wrong, or, and you want to repack it, right? That's the big one. Unfortunately, if we use the packer here, we just click pack islands, you'll see, oh, it corrects aspect ratio or something. It does all nasty again. And so that's not what we want. The pack master add-on, super useful. But under advanced packing with this, we'll see that we can do non-squared packing, right? If we expand that open. You can see when we can adjust islands to texture as well. So this is actually quite fun because if we were to unwrap and we click that, boom, it readjusts it, right? So we can do that. But also, now that it's set up like so, if we had this off and we pack, let's see what happens. It works fine, right? So um, you don't need that on necessarily, but this is the replacement of... Um, what we were doing manually, basically. So scaling X 0.5. Okay. So now that we know that, go back to where it was all like so maybe. Let's just create a new monkey and start this over real quick because it's all messed up. And we'll do the monkey. Okay. Non-uniform. We have the texture. Boom. Fixes it. We can repack it now. See how that's going? See it rotated a little? Don't, we don't want that. So we turn pre-rotation off. And this is going to make sure that it doesn't rotate. 
And now we get that, right? So we can bump up the margin amount by whatever amount we need. Or we can set a pixel as well. So we can do pixel margin. Say we need 16 pixels or something. Boom. There you go. Just like that. All right. So when you're running into UV mapping issues uh, in Vanilla Blender, there's sometimes our manual workarounds, but add-ons often can help with this process as well. And in our other case here, that this might be slightly uh, tilted. Like you can see this vertex is slightly higher than this vertex. And so it's not like evenly unwrapped, first of all. It, Blender's new algorithm works better for stuff like this, I think. But like we want to straighten this up off of this one edge, perhaps, so that it runs up perfectly left and right. Because if I scale on X0, you see it straightens out, so we know it's crooked. So SX0, we know it's wrong. And now um, with text tools add-on anyways, you'll see that we have a couple options here, actually. We can do alignment to the world as it sits in the 3D space, which is nice. Sometimes that works. Um, but we can also select edges. And we should be able to align edge. And it should do the same thing. Okay. So, or a similar thing anyways, not the same. Like we can align this up and down. Sometimes you got to hit it multiple times too, so be careful with that. Uh, it's a little tricky, but for the most part, it does work. So those little things like that, that usually hang you up when it comes to UV mapping, now you have some solutions for them at least, right? And so that's all this video is about. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll check you out in the next one, all right? Take care.